Yeah, I don't think you can te technically test every piece of fitness. I don't think you can test that in one workout, uh, maybe a, a several part workout. But um, yeah, I don't think I think you need to have balance and have, you know, a couple different workouts to have complete fitness in a workout. <sighs> Honestly, I like to change it up as much as I can. I feel like um, I usually always go back to couplets for some reason because you can always go back and forth to movements. Um, you know, when one starts to get hard, you go to the next one or whatever it is. But yeah, I, I enjoy chippers as well. I got away from them for a while. I don't know why. I guess because I was doing so much volume that if I took four or five movements away, I had nothing to do the next day, you know. So uh, we've, in the last probably couple, last year or two, we got back into chippers when I realized, you know, you, it's hard sometimes. <coughs> <laughs> been doing it so long you get into even you get into rhythms where you're like that was a good workout let's do the same rep scheme different movements and let's do the same and so you're like you're missing the point of variance and so the last probably last year I really took into account I was like all right we're doing a lot of this we're doing too much of this maybe we need to do some of these things you know you shy away from things that hurt sometimes where you're like I don't want to suffer today and then the next day I still don't want to suffer and then the next thing you know you haven't done any burpees in a year and so um we uh that's been one thing in the last year is probably trying to be more accountable on stuff that you don't enjoy doing making yourself do that oh man um obviously to improve strength you're gonna need and it depends on i guess where you are in your fitness journey if you have a pretty decent groundwork of your strength you don't need to Obviously, talking about that earlier, you don't have to revisit that as much, but somebody that's newer or, you know, still developing in um, that, trying to develop a foundation in strength, you're going to have to get on some type of program and some consistency in those lifts um, to get better at them. That's just that's science. It's what it is. Um, and so you're going to have to, you know, figure out what that is. You know, maybe a, it could be a, depending on what your goal is, you know, but I think, and it personally, is you change that up as much as you can, maybe a hypertrophy phase, a power phase, a strength phase, whatever it is, and try to change that up as much as you can, still vary it, and, um, but there's still consistency in that movement and still building on that. Um, and then on a weakness, obviously, you want to attack the weakness. However, you don't want to let your strengths become a weakness as well, so you've got to kind of be careful with that, and that's where you just constantly assess and make sure you're you know, you're still hitting those things you're good at, so you don't completely lose that. Yeah, we've, uh, that's kind of been our push lately, is to try to offer and, and hit kind of all phases. Um, you know, so we have the M30 is what we started um, a couple, I guess right before the games, and it's a all body weight, you know, stay at home, somebody who can't make it to the gym a bunch, uh, travel type program. We are launching the M60 today, technically, and um, it's an hour. You get a warm up, you get a workout, and you get a cool down or a little after party every day. And it's 60 minutes, limited equipment. You know, if somebody's training in their garage, um, you know, you need some dumbbells, you need a barbell, some plates, you know, a garage gym, no machines. Then, obviously, you step up and we have. Um, we're talking about working with Chris and making a mayhem aerobic capacity type uh, program. Right now we have a conditioning bias, which is uh, similar, but I think we could make better. Um, we have a, you know, so conditioning is somebody's weakness. There's still Metcons in there, but there's a lot of, you know, interval type stuff, some conditioning stuff. Uh, we have a strength bias for somebody that um, feels like strength is something they need to work on, still with some CrossFit Metcons. Same with the gymnastics bias. And then you step up and you have... Um, CrossFit or Mayhem Compete or M Compete, and it's programmed by me and Tasia uh, Persevich helps, and um, we kind of sit there on a whiteboard and write a bunch of stuff out, put it in where we think it should go, and it, it's basically how I would train if I was n younger in my career and you know still trying to compete as an individual. It's um, 
it's been pretty fun to get out there and do that and like really whiteboard it out. And then Tasia from there takes it and, um, you know, take, makes it a master's program or it could even be used as a teens program, but we have a mayhem master's. Um, and then we have what's rich doing and that's literally what I do every day. And so that's the work outside program for myself or for the team. And, um, I basically just log it and then we put it out there for everybody to, to critique or like, or hate or whatever they want to do. So it's been fun. And actually we have a sports performance one that I program as well. It's more of a strength and conditioning type, um, I mean, it's if you're playing a sport and CrossFit is not your sport, this is like a, you know, there's strength stuff in there. There's accessory stuff. There's some CrossFit interval type workouts, um, high intensity stuff. And then there's some speed days in there. So it's been fun actually, though, to dive into the programming stuff a little bit more. You know, I'd done it for myself for so long, but to really step back and look at, you know, what, how this stuff works together and, and think about stuff that I used to do when I was still trying to develop in certain areas. I'm not saying that I'm not trying to develop now, but, um, you know, it's a little less important. I'm still getting better, but it's not, some things aren't, aren't, now it's like, all right, we're, you know, developing pathways. We have the strength there. So now let's just work on efficiency and stuff like that. Yeah, like I said, with, with what we've done for so long is the, the compete or the what's Rich doing is obviously, like I said, it's exactly what I do. I've got less time and so I'm trying to be target areas that I know I need to work on and be more, um, more precise with my time and making sure I'm getting in what I, what I need to get in that day. Whereas compete is for somebody who has a little bit more flexibility in what they're doing, um, but also needs some guidance on what to do. Um, and so, like I said, there's a little bit more strength in there right now than there is into the actual what's rich doing. Um, it's, um, <clears throat> but it's still, a, I mean, they're both complement each other pretty well, but, um, like I said, if I was, if I was younger, I'd do compete where I'm at right now. And what's rich doing is working. And honestly, it's, some of the Metcons, basically what I do too is with the What's Rich doing, we'll kind of, if we do a workout and we're like, ah, oh, that was, you know, we should have done this better, we should have changed this, we should have done that in the workout, we can kind of go back in uh, Mayhem Compete and make that workout even better and kind of analyze it and maybe change it up a little bit to make it more accessible to some athletes that aren't, um, you know, quite on games level, I guess, more of like a regional, before when we had regional level. We will have some more Hinshaw for running tours in the future. It's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's 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 been a grind. Uh, the hardest part too is just being away from my kids. I don't mind visiting all these countries and meeting all these people. And the travel's not optimal, but you know I'm at a point where I'm like, all right, as long as I work out once a day, I'll be all right. Um, I need a decent session, not like just a quick session. Um, but uh, I'm missing my kids. I'm starting to get to that point where I'm like, all right. My, my kids are like, where are you? Are you ever coming home? That's, that's the part where you're like, all right, let's hurry this up. So, but it's been a lot of fun.